Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is gonna to be a different type of video. I am going to show you behind the scenes of the day in the life of a small business owner. This is something that I really wanted to introduce to my channel. However, sometimes my anxiety gets the best of me and I always think that nobody wants to see that. But you know what, there's something for everybody. Plus, there's not a lot going on. Um, things have changed recently on the island. We are now back at a stay at home order. So that means that all the hiking trails are closed. The beaches are only for leisurely activities. You can't lounge around on the shoreline you have to actively be engaged with water um, and so there's not really much to do uh, the businesses and stores are still open but that's that's neither here and there right now we're just kind of condemned to our home so why not just utilize my time wisely and focus on my craft so I opened my business so I'm still waiting to get my um, business license but as of right now I recently opened my Facebook business page it is called ABCB crafts and I will put the link in the description so that you all can check it out it is still kind of under construction I mean I have some things on there but I add as the day goes on uh, goes by or add, uh, you know I add to it as the days go on I, I really focus on handmade masks but I do scrub caps and uh, awesome covers and whatever someone brings to my attention if it's challenging or I feel like I can make it then I will do that but for the most part that is really what my focus is on but I have a project coming up and I can't wait to get started with that I am trying to start making handbags so I'm waiting for my hardware to get here and I've made a couple already but they're wristlet pouches but I really want to focus on the deep constructed bags the ones that look complicated from the start but my customers primarily come from the neighborhood it's quite big where we live so I get a lot of demands it's been quite slow though for the last couple of weeks which is totally understandable and I'm thinking about reaching out or going towards yeah yeah okay <laughs> hold on guys but i'm thinking about marketing through etsy i'm not too sure I'm, I'm pretty afraid of the demand it's just me and i don't like to be swamped in work um, i've been there before and it's a great feeling but it's an exhausting feeling and i want to make sure i still have time for my kids and the family and things of that nature so anyway with that being said guys let's go ahead and get this vlog started i have an order to do and this lady requested five masks for me so let's get into it i want to take you all inside my fabric room <laughs> i took everything out that did not belong except for my fabric so here we are I have all of my fabric. I think I have an addiction because I'm pretty much at capacity. So I have it pretty much organized. I have all of my licensed character print here and then everything else that's miscellaneous is, you know, in the shelves. And I have more over here as well. So I just can't keep up anymore. This section right here is nothing but vinyl. And I buy my vinyl from my punk broidery dot com and this one is custom this is not on the punk border bordery site lord i can't talk today but it's not on this site i am a part of a group on facebook they do custom fabric and vinyls and this is a pre-order so they only do it every three months but i got a chance to stag me some this one is called snacks and it is so cute it's one of my favorites i'm going to make a mini backpack with this fabric and i also have the one in ratatouille which is also vinyl so you know take a look at that that's so sick to me i love it but i have so much to choose from and so many oh my goodness so much so much and this one's my favorite they didn't have any rolls they only had it in sheets so i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna do with that but i have plans and inspirations guys and i just can't get enough of it and i pretty much ordered almost the whole freaking shop if you ask me and on this side is my cork fabric. This one I like the most. It is wine with gold. And I have the original cork here. This one has gold specks throughout as well. And this one is just the natural cork. So I use a lot of this as my contrasting fabric when I make my bags. And I also have the custom fabric here too. Um, that also matches the vinyl that I have. So these, this is called snacks. And I forgot what the other ones are called. I think it's called confetti. But this one here, you guys take a look at this. Um, this Mickey Mouse fabric has the Marvel characters in the Mickey Mouse face. So you got the Hulk and you have Spider-Man, you know, so on and so on. So I have plans, guys. I have plans. But I'll put all this back now and let me pull out the fabric that the customer wants for her mask. Before I get started, I want to give you guys a small little tour of my sewing station. My workstation is not much, however. <laughs> 
We all got to start from somewhere. And I just placed my desk in a small corner in the room where everyone likes to sit. TV there. My husband who likes to game every now and then, he's in that corner. So I would call this the multi-purpose room. But anyway, let's start over here. So I have my little organizer and I try my best to keep it as organized as I can. So I have my Taylor's chalk and then I have my little thank you stickers. Um, right here I have my nose wire for my nose wire inserts when I uh, apply it to the mask. And then this first drawer here, I have all of my elastic, my ear ties. Uh, pretty much things that I need in regards to elasticity. And then in the middle drawer, I try my best to keep all of my important documents, uh, such as receipts and manuals and um, anything else that I feel like can go in here, it will be in there. And then the third drawer, I have all of my accessories. So I have my rivets and my zipper tape to include the pulls. I purchased my zipper tape from my handmade spa space, it's on an Etsy shop. And then I have um, a lot more things here as well. So I just try to keep everything conveniently organized and easily accessible. And let's put that back. If you guys remember her, she is now retired. This was my first sewing machine, <laughs> the Brother Project Runway. Um, I let Angel use this now. She wants to get into sewing. So this is now her baby and she uses it when she wants to make some things. So let's move on to the sewing desk. I have my wonder clips here and then my bobbins. Now this right here, let me introduce you to my friend. Her name is Stevie and she keeps me company. Today we are wearing a different hat. We are all about chemistry. Um, but I have all of my other essential items like my scissors and pens and anything else that I can fit in there. And then I have all of my uh, thread spools here in the back until I find them a better home. This is pretty much where they live. And let's talk about my machines. So I will be sewing on a Janome. And this was such a great investment. I was so happy to receive this in the mail. The Memory Craft 6700P by Janome. Now at first I was actually looking into buying a Bernina and I changed my mind. I shifted my focus because it wasn't what was for me. This machine right here is all metal, 25 pounds. She's a workhorse. She does the job and gets it done. And I will not go back on this whatsoever. And I actually got this for a great price. Um, when I called the um, store where I actually purchased this from, because it actually got shipped from the mainland. <clears throat> Excuse me. This actually got shipped from the mainland. And I was looking to buy the Janome 6, I think the 6, the 650, if I'm correct. The 6650 is what I originally had planned to buy. However, they didn't have any in stock. And I just so happened to call back just to inquire about it because I already prepaid online and they still didn't have one. And then the lady was kind enough to say, you know, I know that we don't have the 6650, but I'm willing to give you the 6700P for the same price as if you were purchasing the 6650. And I was like, ma'am, here's my address. I will be at the door waiting to receive it. <laughs> so I have it and I mean, she is so, she is so gorgeous. She, uh, she's computerized, start and stop button, um, auto thread cutter, tension disc, which is manual, which is preferred for me anyway. I have three different needle plates. I mostly sew on the HP because this prevents all of my fabric from being uh, sucked down into the a bobbin holder and the gears and I just don't like to mess with all of that so this one gets the job done and then not only is this machine great it also has 999 stitches to choose from now it does have some embroidery capabilities such as lettering but this is pretty much all that I have um, to include some of these nice little stitches that you see here which are kind of fun to play with every now and then but to be honest I have yet to use all of or any of the stitches that are available for this sewing machine. I just primarily use number one, which is a straight stitch, a zigzag stitch, and an overlocking stitch. So, you know, for somebody that likes to play around with stitches, you know, this is a great machine to start with. And they do have, they have so many models, guys. So if you wanna look into a Janome, go ahead and do that. It also has two different motors because I'm still able to sew and wind a bobbin at the same time. Let's talk about it, okay? Um, also, one good thing that I also want to know is that 
I know some people, and I struggle with this also, I don't have small spool, spools of thread like this. I have large ones. And I know it is difficult to uh, use that, those type of threads when you're sewing, but with this machine, it has a very long arm, and I don't have to worry about putting a spool into a mug just to use it. I can just follow the, you know, the line, hook it through, and we are good to go. Now, one last thing here, I never thought I would invest in this. I'm glad I did. My mom told me to. She said, Sherelle, you need to go ahead and get a serger. And I was like, Mom, no, I don't need it. I can just continue to use my overlock, overlocking stitch and it does the job fine. And I was wrong because this is it. One and done. All you need to do, serge your way. It saves you so much time and it is so easy to use. This is very inexpensive as well. When I purchased this, it was off of Amazon for $188. That was a sale because this machine usually goes for anywhere between $200 to $250. But if you're into sewing, you're getting into it, thinking about it, or you've been sewing for a while and you still don't have a serger, invest in one. You won't go back after that. So I'm pretty, I'm glad that I took the chance on this and this is these are my babies right here so let's go ahead power her on and we are going to go ahead and get started with today's order I need my light I have all of my tools that I use here sometimes I change my feet depending on what type of fabric I am sewing with and of course I have my um, clover oh my gosh I can't think right now but you all know what this is and then um, my uh, tool my cleaning brush so let's go over here and get started with today's order and this shouldn't take me no more than an hour or two depending on how fast I want to work <laughs> with this customer's order right now I'm just staging the mask so I can go ahead and take pictures for my business page and I don't have anything special I just found some contact paper that I liked put it on a poster board and that's it I don't even have a photo box I just use natural light it works just fine and then I'll fine-tune the pictures in an app and it goes up on my business page so I'm gonna go ahead and finish with this mask and I have two more to go and then I am done for the day I am now done with this customer's order. These are all of the masks that she had purchased from me. And I will place them in a cello bag along with my thank you card. Um, and that's it. That is what happened today. So that is it for today's vlog, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave it leave a comment. Let me know if you liked it or if you want to see more of it or whatever it is. Let me know and I will be sure to reply back to you. So you all have a great week. I will see you all in the next video. And until the end, bye y'all.